What? This is a building with an upside down door. I've never seen that before. I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Oh, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. We are back to the asylums that we have been filming here in the USA. Me and Angelo were here alone. We were here yesterday, actually, with Jasco and Chris, and we filmed some videos here. But we came back tonight because we were still in the area and we had nothing better to do. And there's actually nothing else for us to film. You guys know there's like 50 buildings here that are all abandoned. And we've done a whole bunch of videos here. Now we're exploring other buildings that we haven't done yet and checking out some other locations. I did get some information that the tunnel that we were in with Jasco is actually reportedly to be really, really haunted because of deaths that occurred in there. We might do a second episode tonight in that tunnel alone, the haunted tunnel there. And that's gonna be really scary and exciting if we actually do it. It's 11 o'clock, it's just Angela and I, and uh, we're, we're terrified. Let's go and explore. So this is one of the buildings that I'm about to go into at this asylum. Really terrifying. Look at the scenery around here, guys. There's nothing, no one, just Angelo and I. And we're just hearing wildlife. We've heard some wolves on the way here. Keep in mind, we are in the middle of nowhere in the forest, somewhere here in the USA. And look at this. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Whoa, <laughs> scary. All right, we're gonna go in. Hopefully there's something cool in here. I've never been in this building. Um, out of the 50 buildings, I think I've been into four, maybe. We will be doing an alone in the dark challenge for the next video while we're still here. So that's gonna be scary. Only night vision. You have 30 minutes to be alone in one of these buildings. There's a lot of them. And if you can last, then you know what? You get a thousand dollars. Joking, but it's scary. There's a bunch of deer over there. Angel just got startled. Where'd they go? Yeah, usually like deer eyes, they glow and they're, they're really creepy. See if I can see some more deer in there somewhere. It's either a deer or a wolf. So, for those of you that haven't been following on the series that we've been doing here. Um, 50, I think 52 buildings that are abandoned. They used to house females. Look at this. This is one of the many buildings. They used to have females in them. And it was like kind of like a psychiatric place, asylum type. There, there was a lot of abuses, a lot of death, you know, a lot of molestation, a lot of rape, and unfortunately um, some murder. And, you know, that's why there's so much evil and negativity attached to these places scary just when i thought we could get in from here there it's just an elevator shaft yeah how the heck do we get into this place oh look at that there's a window wide open <laughs> <laughs> let's do it all right sergeants we just got inside of this building we think it's a dormitory where patients used to live or sleep look at this flooring over here this place has no destruction from humans this is all natural decay and no one's really ever filmed these places and we've been just documenting them nonstop. Look, even the wallpaper is still intact, which is so cool. Oh, I hope there's nothing evil waiting for us in this one. Whoa, look at all this. This is terrifying. Got a stairs that goes upwards. What's this over here? Whoa. Where does this go? 
Whoa, this is terrifying, guys. What was this place? It looks like it might have been like a change room. Oh, look, there's a, a seatbelt. This was a toilet area. So in these asylums, I've noticed on the bathrooms that are in good condition, they have these seatbelts for some reason for the toilets. The mirror is even still here. Take a look at how old this door is. It's like... <laughs> I thought I, I thought I just seen a guy standing right there, Wait. down there. I, I think it was just the wallpaper that peel, that's peeling off. This is creepy, man. I wonder what they did in these buildings. This looks like a little lab. Whoa. Yeah, this was definitely a, a really old school lab. Look at all this, guys. Really hope nothing jumps out at us. When we were here yesterday with Jasco and Chris, it, it felt easier, but it was so scary. It's just we had more people, you know. And then they ended up leaving early, and we stayed till like 4 a.m. And now it's just us two. We came back the next day, well, nighttime, and now it's just us two. It's still terrifying. <laughs> Look at this old intercom system over here. All right, so there's a staircase going upwards. There's not much going down here in the basement. Let's go see what it looks like up there and what is up there. Hopefully no demons are waiting for us because the only way to get in here was through a window. And it's not easy to get out. I have a feeling this door's gonna be locked. Hopefully not. Oh yeah. Open, oh my God. Whoa. It's all still here, it's crazy. We've been to so many asylums, but never that are preserved like this. I mean, this one's kind of messed up over here. Like the whole ceiling's collapsed. But still, no graffiti, which is very rare to find. I'm sure after our videos come out, people will come here. If you do, please don't graffiti and destroy. Oh, look at this, dude. <laughs> it's a bell. Cool. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys do spot, you know, sometimes you... Okay, before I touch this door, it started making noises. It's locked. Looks like someone tried to kick it. I was gonna say, if you guys spot anything in the darkness, Keep your eyes open. You guys help me investigate these videos too, which is awesome, I love that. Wow. I think these were the buildings where, the, oh, they were. These were the cells, I think. No, they weren't. Never mind. I think, I don't know. One of these buildings is where they held the patients. That's the bathroom. Oh, this was, this was a room. This was one of them, I was right. Such a tiny room. No, no, it wasn't. It's creepy. There's, I find sharpeners everywhere, though. Who remembers these old school sharpeners? I don't know if schools still have these. A siren. <laughs> hey, check out this room, you guys. So they kept stuff here. I don't know what they kept. I think it might have been linen. There's, that says towels right there. And this might have been like the linen room or something. All right, Angelo went that way. And I'm gonna go this way. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, these are definitely the bedrooms over here. Hello? What? What? I swear I just heard somebody like humming. Humming? Like a female humming. Let's stay really quiet.
I don't know what's worse, hearing a female humming or staying really quiet in a place like this. My heart is beating. I actually didn't hear a hum. I didn't hear a hum. What's in here? Oh, look at this. Whoa. Damn, this is like a, a medical room of some sort. Pretty cool. So let's go see. Is that you? What was that? Something moved. Hello? Is there anyone here? Hello, demons? You want to be my friend? So I found the rooms where they were sleeping. Okay, I'm on edge. I'm on edge times a thousand right now. So it looks like there's rooms on this side. Hey, what's this like over here? Whoa, this was like a, I think it was like a coat room. Looks like it, there's coat hangers everywhere. It probably wasn't, but. Oh, it's the same thing as the other place. I have an idea, follow me. <laughs> this is gonna be scary, but let's do it. So I'm gonna go through there, and you're gonna go through that one. These are where all the rooms were. Yeah. So, alone. <laughs> yeah, they were. Because their bedrooms were that way. So I'm going to go to this bedroom. You go to that bedroom on that side. And we'll split off a little bit. Things are about to get scarier, I have a feeling. I got my K2 meter here. So, let's see before I go in. Anything? Nothing. Oh, wait a sec. As soon as I touch this knob, it lit up a little bit. Okay, let's go. Oh my my, this is terrifying. Hello? Anyone here? All right, oh, I've been sitting here just taking photos of this hallway. I absolutely think it's gorgeous. Look at this room. These were tiny rooms. These were rooms where the patients stayed. Love how the locks have been knocked out. This way people don't lock themselves in. Oh, what's out there? Super creepy. So I'm guessing all these rooms are kind of empty. Yeah, they are empty. Oh, it's so terrifying to just walk into a hallway where you don't know what the hell's gonna be in these rooms. And you know what guys, this is all part of the adventure. This is why you guys subscribe. This one, this room is interesting, it's got two doors, it's weird. But this is why you guys subscribe because you come here to be scared. It is October guys, it's scary month. So I'm gonna be posting haunted, terrifying videos all October long. So if you guys have any recommendations for something crazy, you let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll do it for you. Whoa, this one's in good condition. Any spirits that wanna communicate with me in this room? I'm here alone. What's wrong? Something pushed me on the other side. Something pushed you? Literally pushed me against the wall. You're killing me. Dude. <laughs> Should we go there? What do we do? I don't know. What do you mean push you? Like, where did it touch you? Like, it literally. 
from, I was standing in the hallway, how do I describe this? Like I was standing right here, and literally something pushed me right into the wall. Are you getting anything on the K2? I don't even have it out. I'm not getting I was nothing. hearing all sorts of weird noises on that side. I haven't really had anything happen no. here, no. It's terrifying though to be alone. It's obviously all on that side. Okay, let's, let's go and check it out. Hey spirits, are you active? We're inside of the dorms? Yeah. Whoa, this one's kind of different. Where were you when you got pushed? Like right here. In the hallway? Yeah. Talk to me. We know you're probably lingering around in here. You wanna push me too? Were you? Push me. You pushed Angelo, push me too. I'm gonna stand here all night if I have to. Did you leave? Maybe it left. When you opened the door or something. I'm just trying to walk quietly so you guys can hear everything in case any noises arise. All right, I guess there's nothing here right now. Oh, I'm starting to get some activity now on the K2. Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh, what the hell? Look at this, guys. Are you with us? Oh, it just got crazier. Should we go upstairs? That's what I was thinking. Damn, okay, cool, let's go upstairs. Okay, we're on the second floor now. This is interesting. It looks the same, but different. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the same. Wait, what? A stairwell that goes to nowhere? What the hell? Yeah. This is so strange. <laughs> Literally makes no sense whatsoever. What? So how do you get to the roof? No. Interesting. No. So what's on the third floor? Right? Yeah. Oh. So, seems like the layouts are all kind of the same. Rooms in there, rooms in there. What's in here? To roof, so that's the way to the roof. Whoa, this is completely different. There's a whole bathroom over here, guys. Look at this. Wow, pretty, pretty interesting. A ramp that goes up to the shower area. Look at these shower heads, that's so cool. There's like a library over there, from what I noticed. So there are a lot of these same buildings that I'm in right now. Something's moving over there. Well, oh, that looks like the Antichrist symbol. It's obviously not though. So I was trying to say, there are a lot of these same buildings. So I don't, I'm not gonna go into all of them because that's gonna get tiring. We're gonna investigate and if we catch something, we catch something. If not, I probably won't upload it. We will be going into the tunnels for a night vision video later on tonight. And that's gonna be a separate video on its own.
This was the rec room, I'm guessing. And there's a whole sign over there that says, to the roof. Let's see what this roof is all about. Whoa, all right, you do not want to walk on this. That goes outside to like a balcony. And it's completely collapsed. So that's pretty cool. There's another fire escape over there. So let's go and check out that fire escape. What's that? Hello? Where are you? Something just got thrown over here. Something got thrown over here. I'm standing in the corner. I don't want to move. Did you throw something? Sorry? Did you throw something? Were you recording when that happened? Something just got thrown over here. I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm standing in the corner right now. What got thrown? Oh my God. I just... What the hell is that? That, that right there, that, that's a shower head. Pick that up for a sec. I just seen those in here. Oh, what the f it's missing. There's, there, there was three in there. There's only two in there. Did you close that door? No. Okay, I didn't, I didn't close that door. So yeah, we're getting a lot of activity here. This was one in there. Come see, look at this. There was three shower heads, if I'm not mistaken. Now there's two. Somehow that made it over there. You didn't throw that at me? No. What the hell would I? Look, I, I was literally. I don't understand, but I was literally on the other side of the building. Turn off, turn off your light. Oh my god, look at all this. It's going crazy in here. Hey, spirits? Okay, two is going berserk in here. Make that door close. We can always just jump out the window. What a terrifying bathroom. Yeah, that's the balcony that's broken. Oh, okay, so we can't even walk there. Something threw that shower head. I don't know what it was. I've got to stick with me. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not possessed. I'm not going to beat you with a stick. No, this is my weapon. I got a stick just in case. I so what? There's nowhere else for us to go here. Can we still go upwards? It's a staircase that goes down. Let's go back downstairs, where you got pushed into a necrophonic. Before we go back down to where Angelo got pushed, I just found another staircase over here that goes upwards. Make sure that does not lock on us. Yeah. Let me just check. Oh, it doesn't go. Oh, there's a secret door. What the? F oh, what the hell? That, I've never seen that before. This, this one doesn't it doesn't lock. Okay, good. Look at this. There's an upside down door. Oh, what? This is a building with an upside down door. I've never seen that before. This is so strange. What? Who this built this place? Yeah, you think so? Oh, 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 it's locked. Oh. Let's open. Oh. Okay, here, hold the camera while I open it. I was using my head for that. That hurt. Okay, this is gonna be scary. <laughs> oh. It's heavy. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, no way. Crazy. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow. Okay, this is fucking weird. You've never seen this? No, I never, I never And you, this. you've been in this building. I don't know if I've been in this building. Okay, we gotta be careful where we step. Yeah. There's bound to be, oh my god. This place is terrifying. There's bound to be vulture. Oh. Oh. This door is literally oh. moving on its own right now. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Was it open when I came when we came up? I don't remember opening it. Yeah, it was open. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so look, look at this. This is terrifying. I don't know what we're walking on. And why are we walking on this? Holy shit! Just, dude, be careful where you walk. Look at this. I see a room with stained glass down there. All right, this is a discovery. We found an upside down door. Wait, somebody explain where all this stuff is. Like, why is this here? Is this insulation? It's insulation, but you know what it is? What? Okay, so here's my theory, and I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong about this. They had no use for the upper floors, right? Mm -hmm. They sealed them off. They're probably like, hey, in the winter, this place is letting out too much heat. Probably. They 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 close this part off and they seal they insulated the floors to, to keep it warm, which is why it's actually warm and it's cold outside. Wow, all right, you go one way, I go another. I, I, see, I see footsteps though. There's other human's footsteps here. There's like all these rooms and compartments. What does this paper say over here? Clothing, suitcases, sleeping bag. Oh. And if you guys remember the other staircase that we've seen that went nowhere, this is where it ends off. Wow. Holy moly. What a terrifying, terrifying place to be. Imagine getting stuck up here. So I seen this creepy hallway over here with stained glass at the end of it. It's hard to breathe up here. I mean, this is all insulation. It's very bad for you. What the hell? There's like a whole ass bedroom up here. A bathroom. Another bathroom. What the heck went on in these places? I feel like this is like all like, they kidnap kids, put them up in here, lock them up. Does it feel like this could have been like a part where they like kidnap kids, put them up here, lock that upside down door and keep them here? Come see what I just found over here. This is, Found yeah, this is strange. There's this room with with two toilets next to each other, separated by a door. It's weird. It's not a bathroom though. Looks like a bedroom. Like why? Why have this? There's a toilet in each one. The toilet in this one's missing. Look at this window. Room number three hundred five. And there's another room over here at the end. I'll tell you guys what, I'm not gonna be spending too much time up here because the smell and breathing the shit in is very bad for you. Look at how cool these windows are. Well, before I go downstairs guys, look at this. There's this room, a really big one with a door that goes up here and it just goes nowhere. This is the attic. Wow. All right, time to get out of here because I can't breathe. It's it's terrible to breathe this shit. Huh? Like Someone's dress. Yeah, that's that's like a girl's dress. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Did I just hear something downstairs? I heard like a faint bang. I thought I heard something too. Let's go down. Let's go down. We heard a bang coming from down here. It sounded like it was coming from in here. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, this is where we started off. Near the dorms where you got pushed. Oh. I heard something moving. Oh, over there. Over there. 
Hello? It's like somebody breathing. Are you friendly? Okay, what the f man? There's somebody in that in that side where you got pushed. There's somebody behind the window. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just seen a f***ing face behind the window. Hello, is there anybody in there? We know you're in there. I saw your face. There's only one way in and out, I think. Hello? Oh, what the f***? What? This is where you got pushed, right? Yeah. Why are the doors closed? I don't know. Is that what we heard from upstairs, the bang? Well, maybe. The doors were all closed. Yeah. So who did I just see? Oh, this one's open. 132. Whoa, look at this room. No. No. That's the only room that was open. Why this one? Look at all this grass. It's like, it's crazy. We should do a necrophonic in here. Why are all these doors closed, though? I don't get it. Hey, are you in here? I say we do necrophonic? Yeah. Let's do it. So Angelo planted his REM pod over here. If anything interferes with the sensor, it means that there's something here. We're gonna be in this room doing the necrophonic, asking questions, and hopefully we get some results. Oh, wait, hey, hey, it's doing something. Oh. Oh! There you go. I think that's a uh, temperature change. So something just interfered with it. Yeah. What's interfering with the REM pod? Stopped. Can you can you touch it again? I don't think that's motion. I think that's temperature, though. Well, it's something changed the temperature, right? Okay. It's pretty quick too. Can you do that again? Whatever touched the REM pod, can you do it one more time? Oh, my K2 is not going off. It's starting. Starting to? Yeah, it stopped all of a sudden. There it is again. Oh, yeah. Can you make the REM pod go off again? We're about to try to communicate with you on the, the necrophonic. Will you talk to us? How about you go back to the REM pod and leave my K2 alone? You see that red light on the floor? Can you put your hand right near it? The little black box right on the floor. Stop doing anything on the K2. Mm -hmm. Let's go and use the necrophonic. Now the reason why we want to use a necrophonic in here is because this door is open. Why is this door open? It's like something will let us in here, right? Wait, is that going off on its own? Does the temperature change again? We're setting up cameras, so... Oh. We're setting up... We're trying to set up our camera so we can do necrophonic. Look at this. Oh. What's doing that? Oh, this is terrifying. Can you make it stop? I'm gonna turn off my light. Oh my god. It stopped for like a second. What's causing the REM pod to go off like that? Can you move it? Okay, something's definitely tripping that thing, man. That should not be going off, guys, unless they're... That's temperature. Oh, oh. something's standing beside it. Something's, something's interfering with it. Something was just standing beside it. Yeah. Wow.
What's going on with it? Well, I'm trying to see on the SLS over here. If there's anything in this room. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if we're getting anything. Are you here? Show yourself. Don't be shy. Alright, we're getting nothing on that. Hello? Notice how your machine isn't going off now. Yeah. Something was here mm -hmm. and it's moved on. <laughs> My concern is that we're gonna turn the necrophonic on, it's gonna be loud. Yeah. And we're gonna miss that on whatever we're hearing. Yeah, I know. Should we go figure Yeah. Check it out I say screw the necrophonic, let's go investigate. Yeah, yeah we're getting something down. We're gonna go and see what it was that was causing that noise. It sounded like it actually came down from the hallway from the other dorms. Not in there, like in that way maybe? My, like, I have like, I feel like I have like a fragile heart right now. Like I feel like I'm on edge and if something just jump scares me, I'm gonna cry. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah. Definitely an energy. Was this door always closed? This one's locked. Yeah, it's locked. That's strange. Should we try the REM pod in here? Maybe necrophonic in here. Let's do it. Alright, we're doing the necrophonic right now. Here we go, three, two, one. Anybody want, oh my god. The largest orb just came from the ground up, flew past us. Really? Yeah, like as I'm just starting this. Are you with us? Was that you that was making the ramp pod go off? I turned up the volume. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? Brady?
Brady again. Wow. Hey, Brady. My name is Mo, and that's Angelo. How are you? How are you living? Are you mad that we're in here? Yep, that's a yes right there. Why are you mad? We can't be in this room? Can you give us any sign that you're here with us? My hand's getting tired. Do you want to give me something? Anything at all. <laughs> what the? Did that door just move? Yeah. That door just moved, right? Oh yeah. It's, it's locked that door though. You can't get in. Yeah. What's in there? If you're in there, can you knock back? Oh fuck off. That was on cue, bro. Can you do that again? If it does, if it does it again, what do you mean? I feel like there's something in that door behind you. I just seen something. I just seen something. Actually, in the window. What the fuck was that? I seen it. Was it got? Was it got a head, right? So just bang on the door behind me. Get my phone. Get my phone. I'm just bang on the door behind me. What did that? <clears throat> Something banged on the door that was behind me. It scared me. Try a different building? Yeah. Okay. What is that? What was that? I'm terrified. I'm terrified, but at the same time, I don't just want to run away. I want to, like, listen in. It's interesting. Like, it's scary, but it's interesting too, right? Like, we have the best jobs in the world. Sometimes you, you want to run away. But it's interesting at the same time. We're gonna sit right here on the staircase. Talk to me. Not getting anything on the K2 right now. Can you make this door close? Give me something on the K2. Oh, it's going off. It's going off. Look, guys. I'm just going crazy right now. I know you're here right now. So, for the next video, we're going to be going to the tunnels, night vision only. I feel like the tunnels have a great significance of haunted activity in them. And that's what we're going to be doing on that next video. So. I, I, I think we're just gonna get out of this one. Go, 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 go. 